They've lost 14 of 15. They've lost eight straight on the road. But as we've seen in this league, time after time, anything can happen. That's why you play the game. Depends on consistency. That, that's the other thing. Concentrate, get some consistency with that. And if you, you do those things, then everything else will work out. Here is Victor Oladipo. And Indiana has a turnover for the second time. They've got long defenders. Lopez is long. Uh, Chris Dunn is long. Yeah, no rhythm here early as Collison yeah. is short. That's another miss. Great effort as has been the case with Thad Young. Comes up with the offensive rebound. Michigan State Spartan. Markin and played at Arizona. That's short. Lopez the rebound and scores again. He has got long arms, big butt. Team back in November. He's averaging 16 in his last four. Seems to be getting more comfortable as Lopez inside. It's eight to two bull. Just need to see one go in the best. Five straight games in double figures for Turner, averaging 16 in that stretch. And that's a three by Denzel Valentine. The people cuts off Markin. Very nicely, as I said. This is the one that's going to be a bit of a problem, challenge because they're eventually going to try to see it primarily. Now what's interesting, when you look at the numbers from the Bulls, 11 times they have led after a quarter this year. 11 times. Lopez a little nudge out of the way. And now Turner flies in, finds Bogdanovich, who's open for three. Hey, well, that's the kind of rhythm you want. That Fred Hoiberg had to take a timeout. The Bulls, and with the Timberwolves, was in the front office at Minnesota. He was the coach at Iowa State. As Victor Oladipo, his first basket, eight straight for the Pacers. McMillan was looking for it, but he did. As he's putting his elbow, his hands up, he found it. Dunn will step into a three. But that, that's a risk you have to take, kind of uh, resurgence for Victor Oladipo. He's having a tough time making shots. And now done to the basket, three-point play opportunity for the Bulls. Well, one, of the, you know, one of the things that Big McMillan wants this guy is to keep people out of the paint. Just got away with the travel. Move it. There's a lot of dribbling already. Oladipo from three-point range. You give him some latitude. That's a lot of dribbling. The reason progresses, I, I can't stay at eight. Oladipo in rhythm. And done. Former Big East Player of the Year at Providence. Played last year at Minnesota. Portis for three. For 10 right now. I was trying to check something out while you were talking. I wanted to be sure the Pacers have five turnovers here in this first half. Well, they are trapping out front on Corey Joseph. But the Pacers are having a hard time making jump shots, so they're taking a chance that you're going to get the right guy shooting them. One of the points of education, both last year and the year before. Yeah, they've got a lot of analytics on how long the calls have been made as Sabonis hits the jumper. McDonavich starts the second quarter with Joseph Stevenson, Leaf, and Sabonis. Oh, that's a big time move there. Just big time move. Can you make plays? Can you create space? You see Grant is there. You see the little step back? That's how you create space where you can get the shot. Averages 15 per game. He's the Pacers' second leading scorer on the year. Indiana has six players that average 12 points or more, and that was a terrific pass by Valentine. By Vodanovic. I'm telling you, he's a passer. He, ba Valentine is a passer. Lance Stevenson fell asleep. Valentine is, is given some, some good minutes to Chicago. Now Valentine. He's got a problem. Valentine's making that. They had a near triple-double in a game in November. And now Stevenson drives and challenged and scores. What a terrific one. Who's it picked up by Zipser? That was the word. He threw it up. And Valentine again. One when he was younger. Sharon Grant, Zipser for three. And boy, are they in rhythm. They're in rhythm. They're getting wide open shots. 39 first quarter points. Yeah, they don't have a closer, partner. I mean, they don't have a guy. I mean, that's the one thing you got to try to figure out. You got to put a mask in there by some moments. The game you want to make some plays. But Donovan's does a nice job off the bounce pass, which you don't normally see. Good job by Turner to keep a body on it. Let it go. He fumbled it. He was behind it. Step back three. Young. He made the right play because it was behind him. Just a wild risk, because especially if they don't go in. Pacers need to stay solid defensively here. Just so long. Here is so long. Get there. Pacers shooting 38% as Oladipo gets inside. Too quick. But Thad can't quite get it to go, partner. 
Now Dunn back the other way. He shoots it over the top, and it's tipped in by Markinen. A heck of a tip, too. Markinen was the guy that Rodonovich was guarding. Bulls have only led at halftime three times this year. It's going to be a four. And now Oladipo back the other way. Gets it. I screened that by Miles Turner, too. For the Great Bulls. defense there. Bad stepped out with a tough position. And then Holiday hits the three. They trail by 16. Yeah, they switched it. Now they're going to see can they get a matchup that works for them. Yeah, that Corey Joseph made a heck of a play out of it. They switched it going up to set the screen. 15 from three-point range. They've got four to shoot. Gotta go help, Miles. Uh, he, that was Joe Young's fault. You can't let him turn baseline. Play pace for basketball. We had eight assists, the lowest total we've had all year. So guys' minds aren't right in that respect. This is really about effort. This has nothing to do with making shots or anything like that. Just need a better effort. Marking it over the top. And, you know, that's one thing that we've not had to worry about watching this team all year long. And you have to have the collective mentality of how to deal with these situations. Though everybody is struggling with these, um, this is what you have with this team, and we'll see how they come out now. Turner has come out. Your deficits against both the Detroit Pistons and the Toronto Raptors. Those were back-to-back -back Fridays. The sweeping hook by Lopez. Oh, and then, uh, layups and, and little jump shots right at the rim. The ball's going to have to start moving more. And Oladipo for three. Well, that's okay with Victor Oladipo. Nice momentum swing for the Pacers. Time off ball by Fred Hoiberg. Valentine. They come back with a jumper from Chris Dunn. At times, they have shown the ability to score. Shot clock. Collison inside. This year, D.C. has the number one assist to turnover ratio at 4.3. And Markinen off a broken play. The 109 players that have played at least 600 minutes, D.C. has the best assist to turnover ratio because there, there are players at the list, when you go assist to turnover ratio, there are players that have played 100 minutes that have a better assist to turnover ratio, but they just don't have the minutes played that Darren has. I just didn't get yeah, I didn't get it quite that way. Okay. And done another basket. Listen, he's got uncanny timing for blocking shots. Well the depot leads the Pacers with 14, make it 16 on that jump shot. Pacers scored 31 fast break points Monday night against the Knicks. That's blocked by Turner, but Markinen again picks up a loose ball. They're gonna deflect some or you're gonna deflect some, but you still have to find a way to get it. McDonavich steps back and hits a three. Ten points tonight. 20th time in the first 25 games he's been in double figures. Valentine. Talks about him. Markinen hadn't even been a factor. McDonavich turns the, the corner. Collison for three. Swing it. Keep it swinging. And Collison <laughs> unguarded. It opened up for him. That's why Horvath called the timeout. He's now Nate McMillan stressing defense during the huddle, saying stay solid defensively. Dan Burke added challenge and rebound. No challenge there. Holiday. They set a screen for him. And he did a really good job in Holiday. Now the Pacers just have to knock down some shots. They got to, then you got to get back on the other end. But you've now got a 2-3 thing going on. Plenty of time to get some stops. Indiana's hit four of seven from behind the arc in the quarter. As Dunn gets the roll. Long enough close out for him to drive him. Victor, two of six from behind the arc. He is seven of 12 on the night. And that's Chris Dunn again. 12-point lead. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. Bobby Portis has come in and scores. And that's really what this is about. Bulls come in again. Last of the league is Collison scores. He has all 14 in the quarter. Hitting 53% and 47 from three. I mean, they've made like their last seven shots. Jim instead. His coach would meet him there sometimes in the middle of the night. And Stevenson, the basket to start the quarter. Pacers have won two straight, three of four in the series, two straight at eight of ten against the Bulls. Here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse, Bobby Portis has 12. Swing. 
87-71, a 16-point lead. They're, they're athletic, Chris. Thank you. Good to see one go down. It, was, it wasn't looking good if that doesn't go down. It'll be the second time, if this stands still, that they would have not led in a game. Another 50-50 ball. Got to take a timeout. You got to get the 50-50 ball. So it's either, but the Pacers definitely going to have to focus on the defensive end, and they get some scores, obviously. Fans are waiting for something to happen. That's a good start. Duck from Domas Sabonis. 500 or better teams this year. It was that win early in the year in Orlando. Here's a long three by Oladipo. Misdribbled the ball and hit him on the knee. Came back to him, but I mean, Chris, that was a long three. Just reversed the basketball. Victor they got again. The block. They didn't call it. I thought they'd call a foul, but I heard the with the wobble. He's an athlete. Zips are Huge in play. the corner. Huge play there. That's a five-point swing. Now Oladipo attacks at the rim and scores. 21 for Vic. A nice little hesitation with the left hand. They've been taking this, which is driving kick threes. Sabonis. Has it knocked out by Dunn, who came to help Lopez from behind. Let's get it and move it. Oladipo drives to the rim, reverse layup, tipped up, and good by Young. Yeah, good job by getting it to the rim. Shot a little bit. You got guys standing over. Young drives on market, good and that's play. for Donovan. Really good play. Really good play. By the pace. He's got him tied up. Nearly has it. Taken by Turner. But Donovich has it. It's a two-point game. That's the, you got to get it on the defensive end. Neither one you want to be doing. I mean, you want the steal, you don't want the foul. Dunn gets inside and scores. The tough part about it. Bitch. Good recovery by Holiday. Yeah, there they were too many pace of players in the corner. That's blocked. Five on the shot clock. And we, what we were talking about earlier, you, you got to have somebody you get that can make, take, make a shot. Here's Joseph. Hits. Took a tough one. He needs a winning player. Seventh year, the Canadian from Texas blocked. It's Pacers ball. The Depot turns the corner on Holiday, lays it up, missed it. Boy, he got no call there. Time shot clock at the rule. Falls down. Oladipo the steal. Don't have rush. Don't have rush. Here's Oladipo for the lead. Indiana has the lead on a three by Victor Oladipo. Antonio Spurs. Comes up with the loose ball. One of the best in the league early in transition threes. And the Pacers with 30.1 to play. Lead 97-96. Dunn has been good driving. Great Step defense. Back jumper. In and out, no good. Great Pacers have it. Right, uh, right. <laughs> By Young is there. And Oladipo, who has struggled of late at the line. Point lead, no timeouts for the Bulls. Yeah, they got to push it. They, they got to push it. Great job by Miles Turner. He got out there. Pacers are terrific on defense. That made the difference. That last little stand there, outstanding, making the defensive play when you have to victory Oladipo, ensuring the fans.